Can you hear me loud and clear? Oh, hello everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video, I will be reviewing and demonstrating the brand new MAC Cosmetics Spring 2020 Loud and Clear Collection as well as the Glow Plate Blushes. But before we get it started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider to subscribe to my channel and ring the post notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Also, come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see the application of all these products, comparisons with other brands, and how did I achieve this makeup look, then just keep on watching. I had a long day of work yesterday, but early in the morning, I received an email from MAC Cosmetics for a VIP early access on the new Loud and Clear Spring 2020 collection. And I was like, I really want to pick up some stuff from this collection. Don't get me wrong, I wanted to jump on right away, place my order online. But like I said, I, I had a day ahead of me that I knew I was going to be on a rush doing stuff and it got me to be like almost 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock when I was out of one meeting and going into another meeting and I said you know before I get inside that meeting nobody knows nobody knows <laughs> pick up the phone and I call my local MACA store and I ask them do you have the loud and clear collection you know the one that is really cute in the clear packaging and the girl she was so cute she's like well, it's supposed to be out on February 6th, but if you receive the mail, you can come to the store and I can get it, you know, from, you know, their back office area and you can see it and if you like it, you can purchase. And I'm like, oh yes, thank you, thank you. So anyhow, guess who went to the market store? It was me. <laughs> I was like, yes. You tell me that I can get it, absolutely I'm coming. So it was like late in the evening, maybe like 6.30, like it was like 30 minutes, literally before the store was about to close. And I went ahead and did some damage and shop a little. So this collection comes with five different lipsticks. They are some of them matte and some of them, they have a little bit of like a satin finish. There were a couple really pretty kind of coral shade, then a couple kind of pink shade, two pink kind of pinkish shade, and then another one that is more dark, a little bit more deep. And then the price of the lipsticks were $19.50. Honestly, I really like the shade uh, in person, Fleur de Coral, which is a very light, light shade, and then the shade, um, the other one, Judge, Judge. And, I tried the Florida Coral and it didn't suit my skin tone. I mean, it was just so bright, too, too light for my skin tone. So I had it to pass. And then the other one wasn't something like I was like, you know, oh, in love. And then the other ones, they were a little too dark for what I look for for every day. So I decided to pass on those. But they also have lip glosses. And you know that this year, it seems to be the year still for lip glosses. I mean, we saw a trend last year and this year seems to be like, you know, still there, it's still strong. So we have another five lip glosses from MAC and they are $18.50 each. There are a couple that they are coral, like two that they are corally tone, one that has actually glitter, and the name of that one is called Female Gaze. I mean, all of the lip glosses, they are great, but you know, lip glosses, they are lip glosses. <laughs> so I don't need that many, but I got one of them, and I got it in the shade Painted Lady. And it actually, I really love how it look on me in the store. So I was like, oh yeah, 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 give it to me. Okay, and then this collection also comes with two highlighters. that They are called the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Loud and Clear. Um, one of them is kind of more of like your champagne tone with a little bit of like a coral peachy kind of hint. Honestly, I tried one on one cheek and the other one on the other cheek. The lighter one that is called Postmodernist Peach didn't show me. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm very grateful for your time. 
And just to let you know, I do have a light to medium skin tone. I do have some golden undertones and these type of highlighters like that postmodernist speech will have been great, but it doesn't have a lot of pigmentation. I mean, you could barely, barely see it in there. But on the other side, the hot Demoiselle d'Avignon, that one, ooh, that is pretty. Now the highlighter is $37 and I got it right here. This one, I was like, I put it on me and it looked just so, so exquisite, so good. And this collection also comes with six different single eyeshadows. One of them is an existing, and honestly, for single eyeshadows, they were really pretty. Most of them, they were between matte, matte satin, finish. Very pretty, but I just didn't feel like the necessity of having them. They are really nice color, perfect for a springtime because they have this kind of like neutral shade and a couple of them they have a little bit more of like a little bit of pink and a little bit of a hint of coral so again perfect for a spring but honestly i didn't feel the need of and in fact i was still contemplating to get some of the rebranded makeup geek single eyeshadows oh, but with all what is happening between marlena and tina i don't know if you heard all the drama about it I just feel a little bit iffy right now to buy from Makeup Geek. I have never bought from them before, but I, I just feel like, I don't know, it just doesn't sit well on me, all those drama stuff, so I'm not sure. I know there has been a couple of people that they have asked me if I'm going to review it or, you know, the, the new Makeup Geek eyeshadows. If you're interested, let me know in the description box. Okay, going back to MAC, aside to this, they have some new blushes oh and the blushes they are the glow play blushes okay i have heard alana as well as jamie page rave about these blushes i think some um canadian influencers they were able to receive these blushes a little bit ahead of any other influencers and they have kind of hype it up so as soon as I was able to see them in person I'm like oh wow these are so so pretty so your girl got two of them <laughs> i got two of them and then i can give you a little bit of feedback of the ones that i actually try and play with while i was visiting the mac store so these blushes they cost 30 dollars. so they're not a game right there i mean they are they are a little bit on the expensive side and they actually come in 11 colors in total they are going to be permanent so they are not something that is going to be limited edition the blushes so i'm excited about that and let me tell you that there's one that is very high up right now that is called all natural if you have my skin tone and if you refer to any of my foundation review videos and you're like to my skin tone let me tell you that all natural will not show on you at all and whatsoever nothing nada nadita sale <laughs> so i ended up picking up one that is within the same color family of all natural but that it does show me okay friends let me get you closer and let's just start with the application of these blushes i'm so excited for the blushes so i got one in the shade that's peachy and here is the clear packaging super pretty and it honestly has that old vibes of like the 90s and you know the clear packaging but i think it's fun it's not that it, they are bringing something back and it's you know different packaging than the black one and all that oh and by the way on the eyeshadows well i was talking with a lady at mac she told me that they are um that's gonna be the new formulation for all mac shadows so they are changing the formulation for mac shadows according again to the lady that um helped me at mac and she has been uh, an employee at mac for 13 years so i hope she gave me good information and she in fact she even told me that she was going to la to get this training about the new products from mac and what is coming if you have seen the other collection and i think it's another spring collection it's kind of like a pinky one. Oh my gosh it is so gorgeous so beautiful so anyhow friends here it is the compact super pretty it's a smack in the middle and the weight of this product is 0.25 ounces or 7.3 grams of product 
Now, I do have something that to me, as soon as I saw this product from MAC, it just remind me right away to the Burn Minerals Bounce and Blur blushes, which I have a couple and I, I had included it on my favorites of 2019. They are great blushes, beautiful formulation. And these ones right here, they come with 5.9 grams of product or 0.19 ounces of product. The ones from Bare Minerals, it, they come with a little bit less than the pots from MAC. And I think it's valid to mention that the Bare Minerals Bounce blushes, they cost $29. So the price is very close. I mean, $29 and $30 is very close. Okay, so let's just start with this beautiful coral shade right here. It's called That Speechy. And when you receive it, you will have this kind of protector on the top inside the, the compact. It has kind of like a, a little bit of iridescence to it, but it's not, there's no glitter in it or anything like that. Also, it's very important to note that these blushes, the first ingredient is talk. So if you are allergic to talk, you better stay away from these, okay? So here it is, the one from MAC, that's peachy. And then let me show you the shade Coral Cloud from Bare Minerals. So this leans a little bit more orangey tone than the one from MAC. The one from MAC definitely has a little hint of a pink undertone to it. And now the other shade that I got, okay, this is very funny. It says in the back <laughs> that it's called Cheeky Devil. It is not Cheeky Devil. This one right here is Blush Please. So in here on the package, you will see it says Blush Please. And then <laughs> we were really confused at the store. In fact, if you go and check on the website Cheeky Devil, it's kind of like a coral pinky shade that it actually looks even closer to this, but it's not. It's, it's more into the pinky side. So 100% sure this is called Blush Please. So you see, this is how it comes with this kind of like plastic protector. And let me show you a swatch of this beauty right here. It looks dark on the pan, but it doesn't go dark. And then I have here Burn Minerals Bounce and Blur Buff. This is a little bit warmer. This one is definitely a little bit cooler in tone. Okay, so I have two of the same Lancome brushes. So I'm gonna use one for one and one for the other one, and that's all good. And it's just so beautiful. It's just a very subtle pop of coral shade. It's just so pretty. It's very, very pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I know you're gonna be like, oh, you're not supposed to apply blush all the way up here. Well, aging, this is called aging. <laughs> Our apples on the cheek, if I put the blush right here on my apple on my cheek, you know, if I smile and put it right here, it's gonna end up moving right here. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. Okay, so I put plenty right there. I'm gonna use on this side the shade blush, please. And this has a little bit of that kind of like a mauvey pink, a little bit of like that sun kiss type of shade. It's so pretty. And let's go into the, the extra dimension skin finish. That's what it's called. And maybe perhaps that's why the other shade didn't have a lot of like pizzazz to it. Like this one had a lot more like oomph. Um, this one is in the shade. It's a combination between English and French is Hot Damoiselle d'Avignon. Look at that shade, isn't it? That's so beautiful. I mean, it, honestly, the shade kind of calls more summer than a spring, and you just have to press right here and then lift that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Wayne Goss number 10 brush. It's honestly such a beautiful shade. It's kind of like glass type of finish. You see how beautiful that is? Like very, I mean, 
there's no highlighter that can be really natural but it's kind of like more kind of like glasses skin it's not wet but it's just so pretty okay I'm gonna apply a little bit here on the tip of my nose and this goes perfect if you have a tan oh wow this would be just so amazing I'm gonna be using this flat definer by Sonia G and I'm gonna take a little bit of this highlighter and I'm gonna apply it for my inner corner and also for my brow bone and yeah I mean I don't know if you can tell or not but it doesn't have a lot of pigmentation it's it's just very, very subtle, very subtle. I mean, you will have to literally build it up, you know, in order for you to really see somewhat of pigment. A little bit on my brow bone. And I wanted to mention that this highlighter is actually made in Italy. Now, the lip glosses, they are made in Canada. I mean, they jump all over the world. <laughs> So I'm not going to apply any type of lip liner so you can see the color and again the shade that I got is called Painted Lady and I think it's just such a beautiful kind of coral shade. It does have pigmentation though. For being a kind of like a lip gloss it does have a good amount of pigment. It does have a very subtle kind of vanilla kind of scent. And this is definitely more of like a thick kind of formula, kind of like it feels a little bit on the heavy side. Yeah, it's not as sticky, but it feels a little bit more, a little bit more heavy, more, shouldn't say goopy, but just a little bit heavier. Let me just go to Max website so I can read you a little bit more about the Glow Play blushes. It says that this innovative ultra smooth Cushiony blush creates a flawlessly radiant look when applied with fingers or a brush. That you have a sheer to medium buildable color. It is lightweight with a spongy texture, all day wear, a stay true to color, immediate radiance, dermatology tested. So definitely I will be leaving on the on a pink comment below and let you know how long does these blushes last. As far as the extra dimension skin finish, it says right here that this is a multi-reflective highlighter that is designed to sculpt and highlight your complexion for a luminous, well-defined finish, lasting up to 10 hours, and these are limited edition packaging. In fact, I noticed that from other highlighters from MAC, as well as other blushes, and even the eyeshadows, they are like about 50 cents more than the regular price. Now, it says here the key claims and benefits, um, dermatology tested, good for people that they have acne and for all the skin types. The first ingredient of this highlighter right here is mica. As far as the lip gloss goes, they contain jojoba oil, they also contain coconut oil, apricot, kernel oil, and it says that this is a pigment packed moisturizing lip gloss and, and yes I can feel it and that's why you feel kind of that that heaviness that I said like it doesn't feel uncomfortable but you can feel like some type of nourishment on your lips and it also says that this is a limited edition translucent packaging and as far as the blush goes too I feel that they are just beautiful blushes because they literally give you a natural radiance. I mean, you can see the blush, but they just really melt into the skin. I can say that they are fairly comparable to the bare minerals, if not perhaps a little better, but I will have to see on the time of where, like if they are long lasting or not. And actually, I'm excited about this formula because it seems like, you know, some brands, they are bringing this hybrid between what is supposed to be a powder and become a little bit of a cream, but not yet being a cream because we know that a lot of people, they don't like to use cream products. They are afraid that they will, you know, emphasize maybe their large pores, their texture, or that they are not easy to apply or to blend. So instead of going for the liquids or even the sticks, they are coming with these formulations right here. And I think that's really smart. In fact, I think, I'm pretty sure that, I think it was Maybelline that a few years ago, they have something like that, but I, you know how it is. Sometimes it's not the right timing, but right now people are looking for more of like a natural kind of finish as far as, 
you know, the makeup goes. And I think this gives that radiant, but very natural kind of finish to your makeup. Hopefully we can see more of different brands too launching this type of products, as well as even if it's like bronzers and highlighters, like even ColourPop, they have their super chalk shadows and they have super chalk cheeks too for a while now too. And honestly, to me, I hope it becomes a trend because I like the finish. I like the finish of these type of products. They are really more natural and even more forgiving on those of ours. Like I do have um, some people, they tell me you don't have mature skin. Well, mm, I'm already aging, so I have signs of aging and I have texture in my skin and I do have a large pores and I feel like I definitely need some help on my makeup products to do not emphasize my age and that actually give me kind of like a more youthful type of look and you know just give me that glow that you know a younger girl will have you know somebody in their 20s or early 30s so if products like this can give it to me yes please and even the highlighter because the highlighter is not like so beaming glowing it's a little bit more forgiving too on texture so i'm here for it the lip glasses at least the one that i have i love the color i love like how nourishing it feels on my lips and then about this highlighter right here honestly the other one i'm not interested at all of because they are very subtle and I think that's what they were trying to go for for the spring collection is something that is not too much to out there on your face. Um, but the other one didn't work on my skin tone. This one, it does. And it actually looks, I, I feel like it looks very nice. Again, I shouldn't say natural for any highlighter, but it's, it's as natural kind of as it can get. And I definitely agree about um, that sheer to buildable coverage not only on the blushes because as you saw by my application I mean you can go with very little and minimal and have a lot of control on how much pigment you want on your on your cheeks but also as far as a highlighter so the products right here at least the face products are buildable and I have to have full control of the pigmentation that I want on my cheek products so that it balance well with my eyeshadow look or if I'm wearing a lipstick, etc. I am tempted to get some of those eyeshadows, but honestly, uh, for singles, I'm a person that gravitates towards eyeshadow palettes and I don't want them to really go to waste. So, and this is it my friends. Thank you so much for your time, for being here and for the support. I love you, love you so, so much. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with somebody else that may like these type of videos. If you haven't done so yet, don't wait too long and subscribe to my channel. Under this screen, you will see it in red. There's a button that says subscribe. Just tap in there, it's completely free. And if you don't wanna miss any of my content, whether you are a new subscriber or you have been here, you know for a while do not forget to ring the post notification bell because that's the only way youtube will let you know whenever i upload new videos also come and follow me on my instagram where i do close up all the products that i review and other news and stuff that are exciting for all of us beauty lovers and most important do not forget to leave your comments below i love to read your comments let me know what you think about this collection if you have been able to pick up any of these products oh and by the way i will leave on the description box below to um, the products that i have used on my makeup today Thank you, thank you so much again for watching, for the support. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.